Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Left Ra, and welcome back to the fourth episode of our Redstone tutorial for our working computer. So today I'm just going to take a step back and actually work on this and just show you guys this. Don't worry, you're not going to have to build it. It's just explaining how the actual computer system with hooking up to everything will work. Okay. So as you can see in a previous series that I did, I showed you guys a keyboard system. Don't worry, I'll be going over that later um, in, in a later episode. And in the previous episodes that you guys have seen, I've been working on the segment displayers and the screen way over there. Now you may be thinking, how are we going to connect it so we can have the keyboard type on the screen and type with the segment displayers? Well, you already know that you have to go ahead and in order to select a certain letter or number on the segment displayer, you need certain redstone uh, configurations that run in and invert these torches and turn them on or off which will then create the numbers or letters that you want. Well, aside from that, we also have a few other things to figure out. First off, we have a power button that when activated, no actual typing can go on. Uh, once that power button goes on, we also want to add a cool little effect of a blinking cursor. Or not really cursor, but an underlining cursor rather. So it shows what your place you're at. Now what we're going to be doing is I just want to show you first this simple little setup. So over here we have three lanterns, okay? And these lanterns represent the different segment displays that we could have. Of course we have a lot more. You may have a lot more than me. You may have fewer than me. It all depends on how many you built when you built the screen. But for now we'll just say there's three, okay? We have our keyboard over here and we have a system. So if we go ahead and we click the button as if we were typing on the keyboard, you'll see nothing happens. None of the lights actually light up. However, say we want to go ahead and go into row one, column one. We need to flip the switch for row one, column one, then press the key, and ta-da, it goes ahead and lights up, okay? Now the same thing happens with the rest of them. Now what we have happening here is, since there's only a button that's going to be happening, happening to power it, or pressure plates in the keyboard's case, we have a T flip-flop that actually changes and makes it so the block is always on until we give it a separate signal. So right now we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to click the reset button. Uh, the reset button is down here, and the reset button we're going to have set up to every single segment displayer, and what happens is simply, as when we press it, it sends a signal right before the segment is, uh, the T flip flops at the segment displayers and it gives them power to turn every single one off except for ones that have not been activated yet or else it would be turning those ones on instead okay so let's talk about the power button for a second power button so like I said cursor how are we gonna do this well what we're gonna do is we're going to have it set up so when we press a button it's going to send a signal to another T flip flop it's gonna push a cart around in a circle. So you can see right here, it's what is happening is when the cart goes to right this point, it turns on this light. This could be used as, or signified as a the blinking under underscore cursor, okay? You can see we have it going straight to here. So while we have this location set up, it's going to be blinking at this spot. Now as soon as we want to actually type on there though, we flip the switch, it cancels it out by actually pushing a piston and blocking out the signal it's right there and then we can choose to press our button and this one is still uh, it's pulled back because the lever is connected to that as well and it's not it's it's inverted this time and allows us to turn on the segment display okay and of course we can go ahead and we can do this to any any segment that we want for example right here we'll do this one of course, I don't have this T flip flop set up, so it's just going to blink for a second and turn right off. But it's the same idea right there. Okay? So it's a very short video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I apologize that it's really short. I just wanted to get a few things across and just explain to you guys that it is really simple how we're going to be doing this. And we can really go a long way with some cool little features and stuff like the underscore and everything like that. And I just wanted to give you guys a hopefully insightful and easy view on how we're going to be throwing everything together uh, with the computer in a simple way. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye.